Um, so I'll go ahead and kick things off. Um, my name is Seema Patel. I'm a program manager here at the Clean Cooking Alliance, and I'm joined by my colleagues Srikant Avi from our private sector and investment team and Andy Sinon from our um, Haiti project management team. Uh, we also have other Alliance team members in the room to answer any uh, relevant questions pertaining to the Haiti project as we go along. Um, just in terms of logistics, let's see. Um, we're, we're really excited that things are now moving forward and we're picking momentum up back with our Haiti project. Um, so we'll be going through the webinar content, um, but in the interest of being able to go th through things seamlessly, we have a few um, logistical requests. Everybody will be muted for the duration of the webinar, but you can utilize the chat window that you've already been using to ask questions. Um, for any trouble connecting to audio, um, which it doesn't look like there's any issues right now, but if there's any trouble um, throughout the webinar, just chat in the window and we can try and address those as we go forward. Um, utilize the full screen mode just to be able to see the content as best as possible. And if at any point you have to leave or get cut off or want to re, uh, rehash any of the content itself, we will be posting the recording to our Alliance YouTube channel. Um, Andy, do you want to translate? Bonjour tout le monde, c'est nous c'est Andy Sanon, comme collègue moi se dit. Ça nous pas fait nous y a quelques lettres logistiques pour le webinaire là. Nous allons mettre tout le monde sur nous. Um, comme ça, nous allons taper toutes questions que nous gagnons en chat là, soit en créole ou bien en anglais, et nous allons répondre. Si question, si nous pas gagnons répondre question, nous allons répondre plus tard. Nous allons l'afficher sur le site là. Si vous avez un problème pour connecter avec audio, essayez de cliquer sur flèche là à côté et puis vous choisissez le changement audio. Si si pas de problème, nous allons continuer. Si vous avez une difficulté avec slide, vous pouvez cliquer sur la caractéristique qui est écrit écran plein. Et puis, sur le bord droit, sur le bord, bord en haut. Si vous voulez. Nous avons enregistré le webinaire là et puis nous avons affiché les sous chaîne YouTube Alliance là. So just in terms of the agenda for today, um, we'll be doing just a brief overview of the Clean Cooking Alliance just for the benefit of any new participants that aren't quite familiar with the Alliance's mandate. Um, and then we'll be going into a little bit of background about our Haiti Cookstoves and Clean Energy Market project and provide just a brief update since we've had to take a, a few hiatuses um, over the past uh, year or two. Um, and then we'll go into the details of our Haiti Clean Cooking Fund. And then we'll, um, as questions come up, we'll, uh, we'll go through those questions and provide answers at the end. And for any questions that we can't answer in time, we'll go ahead and post those responses online. Donc, nous allons faire, nous allons faire quelques étapes. Nous allons commencer à faire en information sur Clean Cooking Alliance, euh, Alliance pour la cuisson propre. Après ça, nous allons passer sur projet 1, nous allons que c'est ça projet 1. Après ça, nous allons parler de fonds pour la cuisson propre. Là. Et si vous avez une question encore, vous allez taper les. Nous allons remettre au sous, nous allons répondre entre temps ou bien nous allons au sous site là avec toutes les réponses. Okay. So with that, <clears throat> just a brief introduction of the Clean Cooking Alliance. So um, I know many of you are familiar with it, but for those that aren't, we are a global network of partners um, working to build an inclusive industry that makes clean cooking accessible to the three billion people who live each day without it. Alliance pour la cuisson propre travaille avec un réseau de partenaires mondial. Nous voulons construire une industrie inclusive qui vient rendre la uh, cuisson, vient faire manger, vient plus propre avec plus accessible pour 3 millions de monde dans le monde entier. We were established in 2010 um, and the alliance is really driving consumer demand, mobilizing investment to build a pipeline of scalable businesses and fostering an enabling environment that allows the sector to thrive. 
uh, clean cooking transforms lives by improving health, protecting climate and environment, empowering women, and helping consumers save time and money. Alliance Lante en 2010. Nous avons travaillé sur demande consommateur pour nous mobiliser investissement pour nous créer business qui a évolué, qui a encouragé un environnement qui permet le secteur à bouger. Les nous joignent des moyens de cuisson qui pip up, les transformer la vie monde, surtout femmes avec des filles, parce que c'est eux-mêmes qui plutôt à faire manger, les améliorer la santé, les protéger le climat avec l'environnement et les permettre aux consommateurs d'économiser le temps avec l'argent. Um, and Andy, I have some notes under the slides. So I'm just going to add a little bit more color, but if you can't translate that, um, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so really, just to summarize, um, our goal is really to develop a credible pipeline of sustainable, scalable, and investable clean cooking businesses with the goal of uh, attracting capital to scale and replicate, accelerating the transition, accelerating the transition of cleaner cooking technologies that meet consumer needs, and really results at the impacts that are outlined here on this slide. Um, so it really is um, all in service of being able to build this pipeline of scalable businesses. Um, moving on to our three pillars, again, which I think many folks are, in, are, are quite familiar with, um, with maybe a little bit different nomenclature. Um, the Alliance is structured across engagement at three levels, um, venture level support, um, market level support, which is ecosystem building, and consumer demand level support. Donc, nous avons trois piliers que que Alliance en travail uh, sur. C'est support pour compagnie, nous pot, nous porter support consultatif, nous porter subvention financement. Nous avons dans trois domaines thématiques principaux dans lesquels nous travaillons. Préparation pour investissement, opération de croissance compagnie avec produits et services que vous uh, The first pillar, venture support, is primarily to support our companies by providing technical assistance and targeted grants under generally three areas of support, which are uh, increasing the capacity of businesses to raise capital for growth, uh, improving and growing operations, and delivering new and improved products or services. Um, then the second pillar is um, ecosystem building, which in generally refers to improving the enabling environment for clean cooking industry growth. Um, that, that entails things like providing market intelligence to fill information and data gaps, developing data platforms and analytical tools, and really raising the profile of the clean cooking sector. Um, and then the third, again, is demand and consumer facing, which will really work to increase consumer demand for clean cooking by increasing consumer knowledge of the benefits of clean cooking, um, as well as improving consumer attitudes about clean cooking. So we're going to talk about the first pillar. The second is the creation of an ecosystem. So we work on research and research to make data, we make data to create tools that we can use with our partners to use with our partners. Nous fait réunion avec des événements pour partenariat avec l'autre intervention sur marché. Troisième pilier, c'est création, c'est demande pour création. Donc, nous fait campagne conscientisation pour consommateurs, partenariat organisationnel pour nous mettre accent sur bénéfices que gagne notre cuisine propre. Um, since 2010, the Alliance has been really working to build a sustainable global market for cleaner, more efficient cookstoves and fuels. And as part of that work, we've developed a range of interventions to build capacity and investment readiness through grants and technical assistance. This is just a sampling of the, the impacts that we've had to date. So, uh, you know, we've provided um, 8.6 million in grants to about 78 businesses ranging from $10,000 to $500,000 per grant. Uh, the Alliance's technical assistance has ranged from high touch, tailored engagements over months or over years to uh, workshops and seminars that build the capacity of multiple businesses at one time. Um, and again, the, the impact um, is sort of reflected here. The Alliance's, we have, um, Enterprise recipients of the Alliance have totaled 8 million in grants 
and they have been able to raise an additional 48 million of grants and 136 million of debt and equity. So these are just a, a sampling of some of the um, impacts over the lifetime of the Alliance. Donc, impact que Alliance Nord est jusqu'à nos jours, <coughs> gain dans le secteur financement, gain 76 compagnies qui joignent environ 8 millions de dollars, gain compagnies qui joignent soutien, gain plus de 30 compagnies qui recevront soutien technique. Dans le secteur égalité entre garçons et femmes, gain plus de 1000 femmes qui entrepreneurs qui recevront formation. Dans le secteur de Madeleine, nous joignons, nous, 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 40 millions de monde à, entre, dans le temps, 8, 8 pays. Et, gain de compagnie Alliance l'a supporté, recevoir environ 48 millions de, de, de subventions additionnelles, avec, et recevoir effet de levier, environ 236 millions. Nous mettons en place plus de 50, 50 ateliers, comme dernier atelier qui se passait, hein, c'était Clean Cooking Forum au novembre 2019. Il y a plusieurs ateliers comme ça, que nous, côté nous réunis plusieurs partenaires. Um, and now we'll get a, a little bit more into the context of Haiti um, and our Haiti market project. Um, so I'll pass that over to you, Andy. Okay, so as far as the Haiti project goes, it's a four-year project with the objective of reducing the negative climate, environment, health, and economic impacts from traditional cooking practices, particularly that affects women and girls, by developing a market for cleaner and efficient cook stove and fuels. Our top priorities are broken down into three pillars supply, demand, and enabling environment. So in the supply, we're increasing the sales of cleaner and more efficient cook stoves and fuels um, from Haitian businesses. We, in the demand slide, we are improving the use of cleaner and more efficient cook stove by, consu um, by consumers, specifically the women and the girls who are cooking. And in the en enabling environment, we're improving the environment by improving the growth of cook stove and market fuels. So we are working with different actors who are capable of, pass, of passing laws and policies to create a better environment for clean cooking. Donc, en créole, objectif projet 1, c'est un projet de 4 ans. Objectif li, c'est pour diminuer impact négatif dans le climat, environnement, santé et économique qui sont dans la pratique traditionnelle que nous utilisons pour nous cuire manger, particulièrement impact que les femmes actives ont ressenti. Nous voulons développer un marché pour cuisine qui est plus efficace pour combustible et pour combustible qui est plus et plus efficace. Pour gérer trois priorités, donc priorité pilier que nous les offres, dans l'autre qui les demandes et dans l'autre qui les environnement propice, un environnement qui permet que le marché en grandit. Dans le pilier provision, nous voulons augmenter la vente pour équipement de cuisine qui est plus propre et qui est plus efficace pour le business haïtien, particulièrement pour le business qui est intégré dans la chaîne de valeur. Dans deux modes, là, nous, augmenter, nous voulons augmenter l'utilisation de réchaud avec combustible, combustible donc charbon, gaz, etc., qui est plus propre, qui est plus efficace pour les consommateurs, surtout les femmes avec des filles, parce que c'est eux-mêmes qui font manger dans le caillou le, la plupart du temps. Et puis, pour le troisième pilier, c'est un environnement qui permet de marcher en grandi. Donc, nous voulons, le projet voulait améliorer l'environnement pour la croissance du marché réchaud avec l'autre équipement de cuisine en travaillant avec des acteurs <coughs> qui permettent que nous nous capacités des lois pour faire pour, pour faire projet avec secteur marché. As I said earlier, the project is a, a four-year project um, from 2018 to 2022. However, there have been some delays, so we're moving along with activities. 
Um, the key stakeholders in the project or the Haitian government, uh, specifically the Ministry of Environment, uh, Planification and External Cooperation, Agriculture, Bureau of Mines and Energy, and the Ministry of Women's Affairs. We're working also with um, cook stove and fuel enterprises, um, civil society organizations, particularly those working with women, and also implicating the Haitian diaspora. Donc, pour exécution projet, hein, comme on t'a dit tout à l'heure, projet en son projet de quatre ans, qui t'a dû commencer en 2018 jusqu'à 2022, mais il y a quelques retards, donc activité a continué. Acteur qui impliqué dans le projet, c'est le gouvernement Canada, parce que c'est eux-mêmes qui, qui baillent subvention pour le projet, hein, euh, spécifiquement Affaires mondiales Canada. Le gouvernement d'Haïti, nous avons travaillé avec le ministère de l'Environnement, le ministère de la Planification et Coopération externe, le ministère de l'Agriculture, le Bureau des Mines et Énergie, le ministère des Affaires féminines et des droits de la femme. Nous avons travaillé avec des entreprises qui travaillent sous réchaud avec équipements de cuisine comme combustible plus propre. Nous avons travaillé avec des sociétés civiles, des organisations de la société civile, surtout des organisations qui travaillent avec femmes. Et nous allons focaliser nous aussi sur la diaspora haïtienne. The project is meant to target um, six regions, six urban regions. Um, it will be reaching beneficiaries in Cap Haïtien, Gonaïve, Sema, Port-au-Prince, Jacques Mel et Les Cailles. But we will be working closely with the Ministry of Environment as well to determine rural areas where the project should intervene. Some entrepreneurs and consumers involved in charcoal value chain in rural areas will also be impacted by the project's work on improving sustainability of woodlot management and improved filming. Don't Projet a travaillé dans six zones principales, six zones urbaines. Nous allons travailler dans Capaïtien, Gonaïf, Saint-Marc, Port-au-Prince, Jacques Mel avec Okaï. Projet a travaillé dans six zones urbaines, mais nous avons travaillé en étroite collaboration avec le ministère de l'Environnement pour nous déterminer la zone d'intervention rurale. Projet a bien impact sur quelques entrepreneurs avec consommateurs qui impliquent dans la chaîne de bas de charbon avec bois dans un nouveau lieu surtout. En plus, il va faire l'autre pilote dans l'activité pour, pour nous mettre en pour nous mettre activité en pied dans un nouveau lieu tout. Great. Thanks. Thanks Andrew, very much. Um, now we're going to move into um, the last section of the presentation, really going into a little bit more detail about our Haiti Clean Cooking Fund, and I'll I'll move it over to my colleague Srikant Abi. Thanks, Seema. Uh, so the Haiti Clean Cooking Fund, the overall design is supposed to have direct support to the companies, and for that we are using two instruments, grants and technical assistance. And technical assistance will be in form of either consulting or advisory services in various forms, which is which are outlined in the expression of interest as well. In terms of use of funds, we are looking to um, for companies to apply for either their capital expenditure needs or working capital. And these can be companies which are in any area of the clean cooking value chain, including manufacturing, distribution, and retail. There are specific fundings also available for um, uses such as carbon asset certification or uh, product R&D and consumer financing pilots. And, in, and there also, we also have uh, funding available for integration of gender responsive solutions for business growth. So, for subvention, we have Haiti Clean Cooking Fund, we have the HCCF. Pour HCCF, subvention, on a besoin subvention avec assistance technique pour nous aider croissance compagnie qui travaille dans le secteur cuisine propre. 
qu'a une opportunité pour financer dépenses capitales, au soit fonds de roulement, au soit ou qu'a utilisé fonds pour renforcer capacité interne compagnie ou, surtout compagnie qui est impliquée dans conception, production, distribution, au soit vente en détail pour les chauds, combustibles ou bien produits et services qui ont rapport au secteur. Quand un financement supplémentaire qui est disponible pour utilisation, pour des bases spécifiques, donc pour certification d'actifs carbone, recherche et développement produit, pour, proto, pour faire prototype avec test sous produit, pour service financement pour consommateurs, ou bien pour intégrer femmes dans la solution compagnie. Now, talking a little bit about the eligibility criteria, um, we are looking for companies who manufacture, distribute, or uh, retail cook stoves or fuels in Haiti on a commercial basis, and they operate a business model which includes selling to household market. So the project is focused on the household market in Haiti. We may look into companies who are also selling at an institutional level as well, but um, the focus will be on household market for the four years. The structure of the company, whether it is structured as a business or a not-for-profit, does not matter. What matters is that the, co that the company should be selling products on a commercial basis. And the next three or four bullet points, uh, which is about the growth plan and having a positive cash flow and profitable, is supposed to um, just um, highlight that we are looking for sustainable models and sustainable businesses, which will based on our funding, we'll be able to leverage our funding to get more uh, capital and also grow their business as well. The last uh, point, which is about the testing of cook stoves, we know that there are various technologies which are available in Haiti, both in terms of fuels and, and cook stoves. And as part of the project, we will fund testing of these stoves and fuels. Um, in a lab, and this will be something which will be funded by the Alliance. Um, but to be eligible for the clean cooking fund, you should be willing to go through this testing. So, for fond, we have some criteria of eligibility. Fond has to mention companies that fabricate, distribute, or sell food in detail, products that contribute to the cuisine of Haiti. So, companies that operate modèle de business qui vend produits pour cuisine, compagnie qui gagne structure comme un business ou soit une entité non gouvernementale qui gagne opération en Haïti. Donc, nous pas travailler avec compagnie ou bien gouvernement. Nous pas travailler avec compagnie qui développe un plan de croissance ou bien compagnie qui a fait profit ou bien qui a montré que vous pouvez faire profit sur vendre qui fait déclaration financière avec une agence tierce ou bien qui a fait promesse livrer ou bien qui a promettre qu'il a livré une déclaration financière ou bien un audit pendant six mois deux jours que vous recevoir fond la compagnie qui est engagée pour utiliser financement pour activité qui est stratégique et qui a intention pour améliorer pour améliorer l'entreprise, pour qu'elle ait une plus durable et compagnie qui a fait promesse qu'elle a testé l'équipement selon sa nouvelle ISO standard 19867-1 dans le laboratoire que nous avons recommandé et il faut faire test là trois mois après que recevoir la subvention et compagnie qui a tester source d'énergie au combustible pour échauffer tout. Now, talking a little bit about the further program details, um, as I mentioned, the type of support which we are giving is either direct grants or third party technical assistance. And all the proposals will be, um, will go through evaluation um, phase in, within the Alliance and the Technical Assistance Committee of the Alliance will have to approve the project, giving an indication of the amount of support which we are providing under this fund is between $25,000 to $250,000. Um, so companies can 
based on their uh, based on their projects it can we can have something a hundred thousand dollar project or even very, very minimal twenty five thousand dollar project as well since we are we are estimating that these projects would last an an year or so or up to eighteen months and then after that we'll also have potential to do a follow on funding base to the companies who have performed well in the first round and who have achieved all their milestones. Talking a little bit about the matching contribution. Uh, so we are encouraging companies to have proposals in which they are also able to match some funding for the amount they're asking. This is not a strict criteria, but will give preference to companies who have matching funding. And what we are seeking roughly is roughly half of the funding which you asked the alliance. So if you ask for a $200,000 funding, then an additional $100,000 should be matched. So for a $300,000 project, 67% of it will be provided by the alliance. And the kind of match funding is quite flexible in this program. It can be cash, cash equivalent, or even in-kind contributions. Those examples are mentioned on the slide as well. Um, the idea is that we want to support companies who are able to raise money, whether it is equity debt or grants outside of the Alliance funding as well. So we know that the funding, our funding is being leveraged. So for this program, we have a quality support that we can receive. We can join the financement to use Soit ou ka jwenn uh, la donne pou pop dépense ou, ou soit ou ka gen acquisition ak, ak, nan assistance technique ke ou recevoi de yon troisième parti. Kalite assistance lan pa determiné a condition ke ou met l'alliance la, lan bay pou entreprise yo. Ou ka recevoi, men kantite l'ajan ke ou ka jwenn gen yon prime individuel ki pral varye entre 25 000 et 250 000 dollars US. Ou ka gen potentiel pou finansman ki rive jiska 300 mil ki ka disponib pou kompani ki montre potentiel pou echelone apre an premye tan. Sa nou ta remen, nou ta prefere travay avek kompani ki ta montre ke yo ka jwenn an kontribisyon ekivalant. Donk, sa ve di ke si ou mande a gen slan pou 100 mil dola, fo ou ka jwenn an fon soit dans une autre organisation ou bien dans une autre compagnie qui a de 50% de montant que vous demandez. Donc, si vous demandez pour 100 000 dollars, il faut vous montrer que vous jouez en contribution qui sort dans une autre organisation à 50 000 dollars. Actually, I think just to answer some of the questions as we go along might actually be helpful <coughs> so that we... Um, that we don't run out of time. So <clears throat> just to ask some of, answer some of the questions, excuse me, can multiple companies work together to submit one proposal? <clears throat> yes, I think that is possible. So multiple companies can work together to uh, yeah, submit proposals. That is completely fine. Another question is about, uh, it's a, more of a comment that says that there's no cash flow positive or profitable companies in Haiti and due to recent unrest. And we acknowledge that the way we have written the, the EOI says that either it should be currently profitable or show a path to it. So like it should at least uh, uh, try for profitability. So we do not, we understand that there might not be any cash flow positive or profitable companies operating currently. So the first question is, are there several companies that have been working together and have a proposition? Pour fond, réponse lancée oui, plusieurs compagnies qui ont fait ça. Can you say it again? The well, first one or the second one? The second one, um, yeah, so just repeating the uh, comment on the second one. So there, we, we acknowledge that there are no cash flow positive or profitable store of entities currently in Haiti, but what we are looking for is that at least the company should be trying to achieve profitability in, in the near or medium term future. Okay. Donc, deuxième question, c'est uh, 
pas de compagnie qui est profitable, qui travaille sur les champs en Haïti, euh, dans le moment ça, à cause de la situation qui est passée dans le pays. Hein. Donc, la réponse, c'est nous comprendre ça, mais ça nous a remis, ouais, c'est que nous voulons travailler avec une compagnie qui a montré que même si il n'est pas profitable aujourd'hui, hein, il y a un profit qui a sorti dans le meilleur demain. And then we also had some questions coming in the other chat window um, that were, I believe, in. Oh. Sorry, yeah. I guess there's one more question. There's, uh, there's a question about uh, a company's bank account being under a different name and whether they can, um, whether they can explain, it in the, explain it in the application. I think that is completely fine. The question is a company that says that Bankio. Code bancaire, c'est sur l'autre nom. Est-ce que ça, ça dérange? Non, ça pas dérange. Il y a juste expliquer ça dans l'application, dans la proposition. Um, and then these came in. Andy, would you be able to translate these? OK. Uh, moi, je Betty. Moi, c'est responsable partenariat dans Paris Energy. Uh, my name is Betty. I'm the partnership manager at Palmis Energy. She's asking if, uh, regarding all of the geographic zones where the country, uh, where the program will take place, do companies have to have a set up in those areas as well? No, so the uh, physical setup is not um, not required. The company should be selling in those areas or plan to sell in those areas or operate in those areas in the, during the course of the program. No, presence physical, no, no zone sale. Fuck, ou fuck, company on the way at one produit no zone sale, mais nous pas besoin de présence physique tous les jours no zone sale. Mais fuck ou bon plan pour aller pour produire pour produire ou arriver dans zone ça. Quel avantage qui gagne si une entreprise déjà gain certification finance carbone? Uh, what's the advantage if a company already has the carbon certificate the carbon certification? So what's the question is, what's the advantage of a company already has a carbon certification? There's no um, inherent advantage, but we can work with the company to, during the course of the program, we can work with the company and see how we can support their carbon program to either expand the program or, uh, or have any additional certification that they might need. Okay. So advantage to get off certification carbone, uh, finance carbone, mais ça nous a fait nous travailler avec compagnons pour nous voir qui côté a besoin de plus soutien, qui l'autre certification nous a gagné, qui côté nous a aidé, qui côté nous a aidé. On what basis will the products be tested? the products that are chosen for the program be tested? So the products will be tested in the lab setting and we'll work with Alliance lab partners to, uh, to test those stoves. So yeah, it will be lab tested and it will be either stoves or fuels. Okay, produire nous pouvons tester dans le laboratoire et Alliance lab désigné qui laboratoire, dans qui laboratoire nous pas besoin de tester pour le Est-ce que, uh, Betty, est-ce que le réponse est claire? Ok, et puis oui ou non, notre chat. Ok, merci. Ok, maybe we'll keep going and then we'll come back to these other questions. Ok. Yeah, so, um, the next um, section is about the use of funding and the Program is designed to have a lot of variety of fundings. We have just indicated here what Alliance has funded in the past. Uh, so it can be either working on the marketing side of the company, so improving the marketing and sales strategy and effectiveness and training of staff, 
conducting pilots for new business model or new uh, or new products or consumer financing the products r and d and defining the design or even pilots including um, introducing these new products and you, if you are expanding into a new area or a new geography i think you can also uh, seek funding for designing the go to market strategies for those areas and also uh, talking about internal systems within the company to fund management information systems to improve business processes that is an eligible source of fund uh, eligible use of funding as well capital expenditure will include equipment purchases we have received several questions already about whether used equipment purchase will be allowed a second hand equipment purchase we are working with our funding partner to just determine whether this is an eligible use of funding as of now you should feel free to put it in the in your proposal and then the last one which you already discussed carbon credit certification including uh, standards such as global standard for global goals donc qui genre est ce que nous allons utiliser subvention que nous allons recevoir nous allons utiliser pour nous améliorer marketing ou bien stratégie marketing en stratégie qui est efficace nous allons faire formation pour employer nous allons faire pilote pour un projet ou bien nous allons agrandir programme nous nous allons développer nouveaux produits nous allons faire recherche avec développement pour produits ça nous ca raffiner produits qui déjà existaient nous ca développer soit un modèle stratégique commercial qui plus bon pour marcher hein? nous ca raffiner soit système d'informatique que nous utiliser système de gestion que compagnie a déjà utilisé nous ca améliorer nous ca utiliser pour nous chercher pour nous acheter équipement ou bien nous ca faire carbon certification pour compagnie so talking a little bit about participation of non haitian companies and we also have a related question which is how will you prioritize local companies versus uh, foreign companies especially since um, we are also having a criteria around cash flow positive uh, and profitability so um, under the program we are prioritizing haitian companies who are uh, registered in haiti so most of the funding is directed towards them and we'll have a sort of a set different standards um, for them we know the uh, the companies in haiti are not as advanced as some of the foreign companies but for foreign companies we have a separate funding window within the program and these are for um companies which want to either introduce their product or service in Haiti or try to create a partnership in Haiti and for this there'll be initially the funding opportunity for them is up to $50,000 which will be made available to conduct feasibility assessments or to explore partnership opportunities once um we see on the basis of these feasibility studies or partnership opportunities if there's something which something really promising which comes up in partnership with a local haitian company then we'll work with the local haitian company along with the uh, along with the foreign company to explore further funding of that opportunity as well okay donc company qui a participé dans dans programme non gain deux volets gain compagnie étranger avec compagnie haïtien nous préféré travail avec compagnie haïtien qui mais si une compagnie qui enregistre dans l'autre pays qui a opération en dehors de Haïti mais qui a intérêt pour commencer travail dans marché euh dans marché dans secteur en Haïti pour distribuer ou bien vendre en détail nous ca travail avec eux tu a grand financement pour eux si c'est international à jusqu'à 50000 dollars soit au fait étude de faisabilité ou bien pilote pour cas évaluer préparation pour marché hein à service que pour bail euh pour apporter en Haïti ou bien il cas explorer partenariat avec l'autre organisation l'autre compagnie qui déjà travaille en Haïti
the application details. So what we are looking for that, um, so we are looking for an existing business plan for the company, which gives an overview of the company product business model, um, growth plan and management team. This is something which, um, a lot of companies should already have as part of other fundraising efforts. So we are looking for you to not create new content. And um, this is the first round of this application is something which is just a, a sort of um, a screening round where we just want to know a little bit more about the company and proposed use of funding and a little bit explanation of the product and business model and management team historical financials, including income statement balance sheet, just to get a look at your financials and any additional document related like pitch decks or business plans or any other fundraising documents, which you might have. So we want this to be a something which is not very burdensome for the companies and something which is, which you might already have and you just need to sort of rework a little bit. Um, after this, once, the companies are shortlisted, then the Alliance team will work with those specific companies to create a detailed proposal, which will be used within the Alliance. So you'll get support at that stage as well. But as of now, we are not looking for a very lengthy proposal. Donc, application, on a plusieurs volets. Premièrement, ça nous pourrait le faire. On pourrait demander toute compagnie qui est intéressée, puis envoyer application sur email address qui est écrit là. Mais nous pas demander pour aller créer un document un nouveau document, soit qu'à voyez plan de business ou qui déjà existé, information sur produit, modèle business ou un plan croissance ou, mon qui a travaillé dans l'équipe ou un, nous commande pour voyez financement historique ou donc ou information sur compte bancaire, etc. Nous commandons pour vous et n'importe l'autre documentation sur investissement que vous faites, investissement que vous allez recevoir et avec projection financière. Ça, c'est pas un bagage que vous avez besoin de créer. Faut oublier, la plupart des compagnies déjà gagnent ça ou que vous utilisez tous les jours. Donc, nous avons besoin juste de vous et information ça. The selection process is, uh, yeah, it's split into two phases. As I mentioned, the initial information phase of which the deadline is February 9th to, for you guys to submit a brief application. The detailed proposal stage will come later where the shortlisted companies will um, work with the Alliance team to create a, 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 create a sort of a more detailed outline of what the funding will be used for. Um, this will also include due diligence, which will be conducted in March and April, uh, where we'll evaluate the companies on um, commercial and financial as well as legal and gender due diligence. Uh, the, this may include site visits and interview with the management staff, customers, and a review of financial and legal documentation. Donc, dans plusieurs étapes qui pourraient suivre, comme nous sommes parlé de l'étape 1, c'est le document que vous pourrez le voir, qui par un paquet de documents, c'est le document que vous avez déjà gagné. Dans la deuxième étape, là, nous avons fini de réviser le document, ça, nous pourrons choisir la compagnie qui peut passer dans l'autre étape. Là. Et dans la deuxième étape, là, c'est là que vous pourrez le voir, proposition qui est plus détaillée, pour avoir plus d'informations sur l'organisme, sur la compagnie, plus d'informations sur le business. Là sur le concept business ou un, etc. Et puis après ça, dans le mois de mars, avril, nous allons faire une diligence sur la compagnie SAO que nous avons choisi. Nous allons faire une diligence à cause pour nous faire plus de recherches sur la compagnie SAO. Nous allons faire une interview pour le staff, une interview pour les gens qui recevront les produits que la compagnie a fait. Nous allons réviser tout le document légal avec le document financier que la compagnie a gagné. Donc, étape ça, au premier samedi diante, euh, que vous voyez le document que vous avez déjà gagné, il faut voir le 9 février au plus tard. Pour la deuxième étape, là, là, nous avons choisi, nous allons demander, nous allons demander aux compagnies que nous choisissons pour vous voyez en proposition qui est plus détaillée. Et puis après ça, nous allons passer à la diligence à cause. Um. As part of the Haiti project, uh, apart from the clean cooking fund, which we just discussed, 
we also have additional funding and resources available for companies. These are in two different um, buckets. First is gender integration into the business models. So as part of the process, we will conduct gender due diligence during the due diligence phase for the clean cooking fund and sort of analyze how gender can be integrated into these companies. And if there's, uh, if there are opportunities where any gender action plan can help the company in their business model growth, we'll work with the company to implement those steps. Um, the second one is about the Haitian diaspora e-commerce platform. So we realized that a um, lot of other companies in the sector and including some of the companies in the clean cooking sector are already using some sort of e-commerce um, platform to sell to Haitian diaspora so that they can further um, buy products for um, their relatives and families staying in uh, living in Haiti. So we are will work with these companies to um, explore and implement a diaspora platform which can uh, which will be funded by the alliance but uh, all the clean cooking uh, companies can um, put their products on such a platform so that which will increase their sales um, so that is the idea this is something which is still an idea stage and will once we start working with the companies then we'll take additional feedback from the companies on how to implement uh, such a platform subvention nous gain quelques autres idées que nous ca essayer mettre en œuvre la donne pour compagnie qui recevra un financement premier idée nous gain c'est une idée de intégration de gens donc pour compagnie qui veut intégrer plus femmes dans n'importe stage compagnie que ce soit dans staff yo, ou bien dans dans leadership yo, etc ou bien qui veut by approvisionnement à plus de femmes nous ta mettre travail avec compagnie ça pour ca intégrer le gens dans modèle de business yo. et l'autre L'autre area que nous gagnons, c'est travail avec diaspora. Nous avons nous avons idée que nous nous t'aimerions créer une plateforme côté nous cas intégrer diaspora haïtienne dans nos projets ça. Donc on place une plateforme en ligne côté diaspora par exemple t'as qu'à acheter un réchaud pour famille qui habite en Haïti. So the timeline is something which we have already mentioned in the expression of interest. So just wanted to highlight that the next uh, deadline which we are looking forward to is February 9th, which is the uh, application submission deadline. And in February, we'll also uh, inform the shortlisted companies and invite them to write full proposals. Uh, March and April are some, is something which we are looking for due diligence, but um, as soon as we finish with due diligence with some of the companies, then um, we'll start working with them sooner than this deadline. That is, yeah, that is the goal. But being conservative, we think that uh, all the candidates were selected will be informed by May 2020. Donc, pour timeline, là, pour fil de temps, pour projet, pour subvention, il était déjà écrit dans le document que nous avons reçu. Donc, à partir du 9 février, nous avons pour nous recevoir toute soumission, toute proposition pour les compagnies qui sont intéressées dans le projet. Hein. Et puis le 24, nous avons choisi, dès nous avons choisi une compagnie qui pourrait avancer dans la deuxième étape, là, nous avons invité eux pour venir écrire en proposition qui est plus complète. Le 15 février, c'est dead, deadline, là, c'est délai hein, pour finir écrire toute proposition complète. Hein. En mars, avec avril, nous avons fait diligence à cause de finir et des compagnies eux, pour refiner, pour raffiner la proposition. Eux. Et puis en mai 2020, ça nous a choisi applicants ou bien entreprises qui sélectionnent. Great. Um, I've been seeing some questions pop up as we've been going along. So let's move over to the question and answer part of the webinar. Um, I'm actually going to go back up to the last two of Buddy's questions up here that we didn't get to. I'm on the four and five here. Um, okay. And at Palmas Energy with a tribute um, cook stoves, 
uh, we distribute and proof cook stove that use coal and GPL. Is there a preference for which type of cook stove that the program wants? So in terms of the cook stove, we are technology neutral. So all sorts of cook stoves, including biomass cook stoves, LPG, ethanol, everything is included within the scope of the program. In terms of even performance, though, we prefer a cook stove which are higher performing in terms of efficiency and emissions. But we understand that in certain markets, um, what the consumer can afford and what the consumer what the business model would require is something which is not very high standard so we'll take that into account as well donc nous pas gain préférence de réchaud ça nous t'en mais ouais c'est réchaud qui puis efficace dans marché parce que nous comprendre que gain de marché ou bien côté consommateur on pas acheter Réchaud parce que c'est trop cher, donc nous pas de préférence, mais il faut que nous travaillons avec réchaud qui est plus efficace. Ah, Um, so the next question was also answered about um, how you prioritize local companies versus foreign companies. So I think we addressed that as well. Um, I think we answered Duquesne's other question. Um, There's a question from Pierre. In what language do we prefer the documents to be? Um, you should answer. Yeah, it's we can translate. Okay, donc pour langage document, si nous voulons nous cavoyer soit en français ou bien en anglais. Um, the next question, um, we have separated our businesses into two entities, a distribution company and a manufacturing company, which have different shareholders. Can they both submit a, submit a proposal each? Can, can they each submit a proposal? Yeah, I think both the companies can submit a uh, proposal. Um, and just, just making sure that it's, it's for different sort of uses of funds and different areas where you want support. If two companies um, submit proposals for very similar sort of funding, having um, like been separated from the same source company, then it won't be, it won't add any advantage to the selection in the selection process. Look, chaque compagnie a déposé une proposition, Mais faut proposition parler de besoins besoins différents de chaque compagnie. Sous sous si tous les deux compagnies by même proposition, nous pas avoir aucune valeur qui a aidé compagnie pas aucune valeur si c'est même proposition pour tous les deux compagnies. Pour chaque compagnie, il y a un besoin différent et pour 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 qu'à soumettre deux propositions. Can you talk more about how testing of stoves could work? So um, under the program, we are allowing for free testing of stoves as well as fuels for, um, if, you, if you want to be eligible for this funding. So how this will work is that the Alliance would, um, we still have to work on the logistics, but we'll arrange for the nearest lab near Haiti to test all the stoves and uh, test all the stoves and fuels and this could either take the form of companies shipping to the lab directly or um, the alliance collecting all the stoves and fuels which it needs to be tested and then sending it all together so the logistics still needs to be worked out um, worked out but the plan is that this should happen in the first quarter of this year okay the question is how can we test the show look what we have done is that we have used the laboratory Plus proche de Haïti, si c'est dans l'autre pays lié. Donc, soit compagnie a envoyé Réchoyo à joindre le laboratoire Sayo, soit Alliance là a pris tout Réchoyo et l'a envoyé à joindre le laboratoire Sayo. Is there an expectation regarding 
the number of stoves uh, that will be, or that needs to be distributed uh, throughout the, 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 funds, the funding, throughout the project. So um, though there's an overall project goal on the distribution numbers for companies, um, since we are funding them at various stages, including product R&D, et cetera, so there'll be different expectations in terms of um, how much stoves need to be sold. For example, if we are just supporting a company for product R&D, we obviously don't expect them to sell stoves within the first few years or um, till the product is finalized. But uh, for some other companies where we are uh, funding them for expansion or um, revenue growth, then we will have some numbers in mind, some target numbers in mind as well. Okay, if it's a company that has developed the ratio, uh, évidemment, nous pas bien on on chiffre pour eux, mais si c'est compagnie qui déjà gagne les choses, qui besoin euh, fait extension ou bien rentrer plus dans le marché, hein, nous abaisons un chiffre. Is there a component of the project that will focus on consumer financing? So um, within the within the Haiti Clean Cooking Fund the companies can apply for developing their consumer financing uh, part of the business, including conducting pilots or in, increasing pilots, uh, increasing the scope of the pilot. There's additional funding for consumer financing, which we can explore in doing some research work as well. Uh, that will be in partnership with the company. And that is something which we can evaluate at uh, and talk a little bit more about at the proposal stage for, with the companies who show any interest in consumer financing work. Yeah, so just repeating, um, within the Haiti Clean Cooking Fund, companies can apply for uh, funding for the consumer financing pilots. Okay, so the subvention company can apply for financement for consumers. Um, will testing results be made public? Question is, is the result for test ratio quite public? Yes, we do not currently have answered this question. It, we'll have a conversation with each of the companies and we'll work with them to ensure that um, that their confidentiality is maintained. So we'll, um, so we'll come back to you with this question. Um, a lot of these questions will be posted on our Alliance website for as FAQs for this project. And by then we hope to answer this. So, dans ce moment-ci, nous ne pouvons pas avoir une réponse pour la question. Nous allons pouvons discuter avec toute entreprise qui a aimé participer dans le projet. Et puis, nous allons assurer qu'il y a bien confidentialité. Et après, nous allons faire une décision pour nous voir si le projet est public ou non. Do you want to, why don't we um, come back to that one? It's really we have some okay. other questions coming through our other chat window. Um, can the business plan be in any language? I think we already, well, in any language. Um, I think the, the preference would be for French or English. <laughs> Um, just to match with our translation cap capabilities. There's a question about how the follow-on funding work uh, will, uh, potential follow-on funding work. Um, is there a preset timing for it? The answer to that question is that it will, uh, it will be determined on the um, sort of the timeline of the first project. And we are very flexible in doing uh, the first round of projects, for example, with some companies, it could be three months long. For other companies, it could be up to 18 months as well. So 
uh, after the conclusion of the first project and achieving these milestones, these the spot on funding will be available for those companies. Um, uh, yeah, so it could be as early as three to four months when um, when certain milestones have been reached, especially in terms of feasibility studies for foreign companies and for other companies where we are doing a longer term project, it will the fallen funding will be available after those after um, completion of the project. Um, next question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Gonna say that we can ensure that on the website. So, okay. um, yeah, some of these I think are, are a bit in depth. It'll be easier mm -hmm. to read the responses um, when we post them on the website. Um, another question is Would it be a water boiling test or a CCT, um, or is it based on the ISO methodology, um, the new one, or the past methodologies? Um, it will be based on the new methodologies, um, and it will be. Based on that, it will be a different protocol. It's called the standard test sequence. So it's not WVT or CCT. Oops. Um, again, we'll post this to the website. So, toute la question, nous allons mettre sous sous site là. Nous allons mettre question ensemble avec toutes réponses que vous êtes en anglais ou en créole sous site là. Can a company who is commercializing um, cook stoves and another partner who's working in the GPL sector Uh, submit two different proposals. GPL. So what's the question? So there's a company which is in the cook stove sector and another company which is in the GPL, which is what gas mm -hmm. sector, um, submit two different proposals. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, I think that's possible. I think so, yeah. if we're understanding it correctly. Two different companies submitting two different proposals. Daniel, si nous comprenons une question bien, c'est est-ce que en compagnie qui a travaillé, uh, qui a fait commercialisation pour les chauds, ensemble avec une autre compagnie qui n'a gaz propane, est-ce que y a soumettre uh, deux propositions pour continuer? Donc, uh, si nous comprenons une question bien, réponse là c'est oui. Tous les deux compagnies ont soumettre, uh, soumettre uh, proposition. Okay, Betsy and then we have question. one last question from Betty. Will the financing be given just like at once or would it be throughout different? Yeah, so the, um, the projects typically we do milestone based funding. So we'll outline the various milestones uh, as part of the project and we'll fund based on achievement of milestones. Donc, euh, Betty, pour question là, sous financement, sous financement il va étaler euh, selon les résultats que compagnie en bail. Donc, chaque euh, milestone, chaque résultat que compagnie en bail, chaque à chaque fois il y a pour se voir financement. Uh, would it be possible to know who attended this webinar? Um, I'm just going to double check with our comms team just to sort of see what our general yeah. protocol is for that. Um, if it's not readily viewable on the Zoom window, then I just want to double check if it's, um, if it's okay to share. So I'll have to get back to you about that. Donc, Daniel, si on une question, de, what, il y a deux compagnies qui ont en, en, en proposition ensemble, les Finnegan qui parlent dans proposition pour contre lui. She's asking if both companies are partnering on one proposition, can they submit together and then another one of these two companies will submit by itself. Yeah, that's possible. Oui, c'est possible. Okay. 
questions? Well, I think those are all of the questions that came in. Um, if there are additional questions, you can feel free to uh, email the investment at cleancookingalliance.org email address. Um, really appreciate everybody taking the time and inclination to join today's webinar and we'll look forward to proposals coming in over the next week or so. Um, again, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Andy, for your uh, translation. And we'll speak with everybody and be in touch soon. Thanks again. Donc, merci tout le monde de ce que nous avons accepté l'invitation. Si nous avons des questions additionnelles, nous avons envoyé sur l'email adresse là. Une fois de plus, nous pourrons répondre à toutes les questions que nous avons posées, soit en anglais ou bien en, fran, euh, en créole. Nous pourrons mettre des réponses sur ce site là. Si nous avons des questions additionnelles, s'il vous plaît, voyez-vous dans un délai faisable. Et puis, nous pourrons répondre à toutes les autres questions. Merci en pile.